Welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 16th of July. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. And tonight we are going to celebrate Osmond. Uh, Osmond was Bishop of Salisbury. So a little bit of information about him. Born the son of a Norman Count, Osmond came to England in the wake of William the Conqueror, his mother's half-brother, and was quickly promoted to Chancellor in 1072. Six years later, he became Bishop of Salisbury and completed the building of the new cathedral at Old Sarum. He was a scholar and a good administrator, but was best loved for his lack of avarice and ambition, traits apparently not common in the new hierarchy of church and state. He took part in collecting the information for the Doomsday Book and was present at Sarum when it was presented to the king in 1086. He is said to have compiled the Sarum use. Osmond died on the 4th of December 1099 and his remains were translated to the new cathedral in Salisbury on this day in the year 1457. So that's the information about Osmond. Whoops. So let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. Words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. So, Osmond, Bishop of Salisbury, 1099, and I'm assuming that this stone effigy of him is somewhere around Salisbury Cathedral. Anyway, let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And we take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week. Bring our thoughts and concerns to God, knowing how much we are in need of his grace and mercy. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And uh, we will be listening to Te Lucis Ante Terminum.
Uh, Psalm this evening, Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty lamb. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight comes from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Chapter 11, starting at verse 28. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We listen to a half a day's version of the Nunctimitus. Salva nos domine vigilantes, custodi nos dormientes, Ut vigilemus cum Christo, et requiescamus in pace. Nunc dimiti servum tuum domine, secundum verbum tuum in pace. Faciem omnium populorum. Lumina de velancionem gentium. Et gloriam plebis tue Israel. Gloria patri et filio. Et spiritui sancti. Oh, 
Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. For the rule of justice and the triumph of mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Inspire and strengthen the church to speak out against evil and not to fail in the face of opposition. Give to all Christian people the grace to endure when their faith is tested and to bear witness to the truth. Guide and correct to those in authority that their power shall not be abused and the innocent shall not suffer. We continue our prayers for all places of war and conflict, including Israel and Gaza, Ukraine and Russia. Forgive those who support evil policies through fear or ambition and give them courage to work for good. Shield us, our families and friends and neighbours, from all anger and violence, whether it comes from among us or from outside. Bless those who have influence in this community and give them the will to work for the common good. Have mercy on all who suffer from injustice, on the weak and vulnerable who are in the hands of oppressors. We pray for all those who have asked for our prayers at this time. Whatever their suffering, be close to those who suffer for declaring and practicing their faith and save them from their persecutors. We remember with thanks those who have borne witness to their faith even unto death. Remembering particularly Monica Payton and Tony Underwood. May their witness be our example of constancy until we come to share with them in the light of heaven. We offer our prayers through Christ, the hope of all who suffer for his sake. And the collar. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things. Graft in our hearts the love of your name. Increase in us true religion. Nourish us with all goodness. And of your great mercy, keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as we come to the ending of the day, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this evening. I wish you all a happy, peaceful and quiet night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime. Take care. God bless.